Hello everyone, in this video I want to provide you some tips regarding how to examine such thin solid plates. Uh, and I will show you different methods which allow to get uh, such results. So let me start with uh, the, the most automated method we can get from assembly, parts, and go to the part browser. So here a couple of things in order to get the automated mesh being done. First, you need to make sure that uh, you're dealing not only with enclosed surfaces, so if I hit an S, I see that I have surfaces, but you need to also to make sure that these surfaces, they correspond to a solid. And if I continue to hit an S, you see that I do not switch to solid. I see no solid here, so I need first to go to 3D, solids, bonding, and make sure that it is a solid. Step number two, uh, I need to save this representation. So to update my CAD representation, so representation, save, and I would say it is a CAD. Okay. Um, I can also define a PDL mater PDM material. Let me call it steel. And last, I will do a right click representation controls and make sure that I defined a given representation for exacting solid. So you just need first to select your method, then your parameters. And I defined exacting solid with one millimeter and two layers over the height. Having done this, I can right click representation, create, and ask for exacting solid. <clears throat> what happens is in the background, the patch measure is launched and will take care of running the exa -sin solid um, algorithm on this part. Meaning, uh, at the moment, uh, this part is being processed in the background. You can at any time do anything else in HyperMesh. You keep the complete uh, interactive uh, control of HyperMesh and you can continue to work on different other parts uh, if needed. Once the batch measure will be completed, so with the post run procedures done, the batch measure uh, we will close and you will get this message saying, do you want to load the results? Yes. And here the first mesh. Okay. So let's have a look at it. And you can have a couple of feedbacks here. The first one that we generally get is, hey, we see some triangles here, which means pentas, and according to our solder requirements, we cannot lose such elements. So let's see how we can deal for uh, for this one. So just before completing the parts, uh, let's have a look at material and properties. You can see that it, there was a property that had been created and which has been assigned to material. So let me double click on material again. With the steel material, uh, please note that the materials uh, are created with dummy values. So you need to then load your materials attributes either by name or by ID from the material library or from AMDC. So is my library up to date? No, um, I, have, I think I cleaned it recently. So I do not have steel material, but you should have your material saved in the library so that you can use it again. So this was option number one. Now uh, let me delete my elements. Or let me load again. Representations load from session cat okay Not all so method number two i want um a full exam method right, as much as possible with an uh, open task element so for this we need to go to 3d in solid uh, we want to use batch mesh as a source so my target was one millimeter so what i tend to do is Open the parameter editor, click on open uh, param file, take the 
param file from the installation with the closest size. So here, crash two millimeter. Let me move it to one millimeter. And this is the most important option here. Change the element type to quad. Apply. Okay. Same with the edit criteria. Let's go to crash two millimeter criteria. Let's move to one millimeter. Apply. Okay. Now we can hit find and we can run the mesh. Escape and here you can have a look at the model. If you're looking close into the different steps, we do not see triad element anymore. One thing kind of interest, let me um, delete it. So I loaded back the, the, the CAD only, so I do not have access anymore to the property because uh, the property and material was assigned to the exact inside representation. But what I can do, assuming that I have seen my Still parameter is that I can say, okay, let's right click representation, save. Let's say that this one is not a CAD, but it's an exas inside representation. Okay, so this will store this in my database. And now I can just right click representation, update. And doing so, the material and property will be loaded again and will be assigned to the, um, to the elements of interest. So we see that we have our property with our material. Then limit ten point. Uh, the steel material need to be uh, attributes need to be updated by loading uh, data either from the material library or from AMTC. For the third time, let me move back again to representations. Load from session CAD. Okay. Not all. So again, everything gets clean again from material and property. And let's say that now I'm interested in setting washer around this four holes. For so for this case, currently we need some manual operations. This is something that we intend to support uh, in the future uh, through the controls, but we still need some uh, developments in order to achieve it. So here's the current way to do it. First, let's go to topology, split lines, target will have to switch to surfaces. You want offset lines and you take, you can take a line, washer split, one millimeter. Okay. And repeat the operation for the four of them. Okay. Here it is done. Next step, still on the split lines again but i want regular lines so target will be my solid and i will be able to take the four lines and i will just change the direction here so that it's a line along y so zero tabulation one zero and i will do extra trimmer split so now I have my washers. What I can do is go to 3D, map, take these four solids, one millimeter mesh. Now let me take other borders. And set it to 12. So this is fine to me. I can run mesh. And I have my four washers. And now I can go to scene solid. Select my other one. 
and hit and mesh. <coughs> And again, once the batch measure, uh, once the scene solitary is completed, so you can see the different areas. The washer is fulfilled. You have all your parts. And so once it is done, right click on the part, representation, save as exa scene solid. Okay, and uh, represent right click, representations update so that your material and property get automatically updated and assigned to your elements and right click library load either from amdc or from your material library so thanks for reviewing this video um, if you have any feedbacks comments regarding the uh, examination of scene suite plates feel free to use the comments um, so that we can uh, answer you and thanks for reviewing this video. See you for a future video. Goodbye.